Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, today we are going to learn the Primavera software, and in doing so, I'm going to tell you why the Primavera software is being used, or ye kin logon ke liye kaam aata hai. So the first thing is that Primavera software is used for the planning purposes. Uh, if you want to see uh, when your project is going to be started, when it is going to be finished, and how long it takes to be finished, what are the resources, what is the cost, and all the links of the activities that which activity will start first and which activity will be finished when, and these all steps are you can say we are going to cover them in tutorials of Primavera, and I have already published. Uh, the Microsoft Project video tutorials. You can go through them in the channel. And these Microsoft Project and the Primavera are both used for the planning purposes. Why Primavera is used? Because in Primavera there is an option of uh, having multiple projects at the same time in one file. Whereas in Microsoft Project, uh, you can only have one project in one single file. And of course, you can do the planning of multiple projects by having multiple files. But in Primavera, all the phases, all the projects can be handled in one file. And Primavera is a professional and widely used software throughout the world. And that's why the, it is more preferred. But it looks complex to many persons who want to learn them. But it is not that much complex it its appearance is like this ye aapko dekhne mein aisa lagta hai ki jaise pata nahi kya koi bahut hi mushkil sa software lag raha hai lekin itna hai nahi so this series is going to be very much beneficial for those who want to learn primavera aur isko steps ke sath bataya jayega ki aap kaise 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 steps follow karke ek kaam karenge uske baad dusra kaam karenge aur aap apna project ki planning aasani se kar sakte hain तो इसको ज़्यादा डिले नहीं करते और अपना पहला स्टेप देखते हैं कि प्राइमावेरा को जब से पहले जब आपने रन करना है इंस्टॉलेशन के लिए मैं इसको एक ट्यूटोरियल आपको दे चुका हूँ प्राइमावेरा का और वहाँ से आप देख सकते हैं कि इसको कैसे इंस्टॉल करना है हाउ टू इंस्टॉल प्राइमावेरा नाउ इफ वन सिट इज़ इंस्टॉल्ड यू हैव टू गो टू क्लिक हेयर द विंडोज़ आइकन और गो टू स्टार्ट मेन्यू एंड राइट हेयर प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड यू कैन सी Project management is available here. By default, the username is admin and the password is also admin. And I'm going to click OK here. Now it is going to generate me the first interface of Primavera, the first view when you are going to open Primavera for the first time. So if many of you are not having this uh, sidebar here, the directory bar, you can just click here, directory, and it will be shown to you i have to just click here directly and it is easily available here open primavera for the first time this is the view let's first discuss the interface of primavera this is the menu bar this is the directory this is the navigation bar back and front this is the home button when you will click home you are going to see the projects resources tracking and reporting work breakdown structure activities wps and documents so this these four things are the you can say the steps or the four necessary things which are required in primavera or in any planning softwares first of all you require resources the resources are very famous money material manpower and machinery four resources and the project includes the all types of projects its different phases and everything in which uh, it is having in a project like uh, work breakdown structure and all the activities in that then once you have linked the activities you have assigned the resources you have to track its progress by having a baseline so if you move like this projects resources tracking and reports so finally you have to report the results so we are going to discuss and see how these four things are going to be used and we are going to learn them one by one in this primavera series so first of all i'm going to click here on projects and when you click on projects you are going to have projects here this is the one which i have generated myself so you don't need to worry about anything i'm going to delete that and going to start it from the beginning so if you have uh, this appearance this is the you can say gantt chart this is the gantt chart which is going to display you 
the uh, horizontal bar chart hum isko keh sakte hain with the links of the activities this is the enterprise project structure uh, what is an enterprise project structure ye hum discuss karte hain ek ek karke har cheez discuss karenge it is going to show you all the things here anyways if you want to first of all the first thing which you have to do in uh, primavera is you have to set up the currencies if you want to set up the units of currencies you have to go to admin then you have to go to currencies when you go to currencies by default it will be having a united states dollar as its default currency and if you want to change the currency you have to add a customized currency of your own choice so you have to click here add and when a new currency is added here you have to rename them let's say i'm going to add it a pakistani rupees i am going to add pkr as its id currency name i am going to have pakistani rupees and the currency symbol double click here and going to write here rupees so i have already added one pakistani rupees that's why it has automatically renamed it to pkr1 so this is how you add a customized currency in in primavera i'm going to click close here and when you are going to open this project i'm now going to add columns and from the costs i want to add total cost here so that i want to just show you that it now uses the currency of pakistani rupees so let's say actual total cost i add click okay and here actual total cost the unit you can see is rupees originally it was in dollars so this is how you can change the currencies of primavera